Hey everybody, welcome back. Mr. Tommy here, and it's good to see you again. I'm glad you are here. Today's letter is great. Today's letter is letter G, which is the seventh letter in the alphabet. And letter G is a consonant, which means it usually only has one sound, but the letter G has two. The letter G can sound like G, as in game, or grape, or grass. And it can also sound like J, as in giraffe, or giant, or germ. So the letter G has two sounds, even though it's a consonant. And now that we know what the letter G sounds like, it's time to see how to make the letter G in my magic notebook. To make the capital or uppercase G, it's just a curve with a little straight line. So you're going to go a little bit below the top line, and we're going to start right here. We're going to curve up to touch that top line, keep that curve going all the way down to the bottom and touch there, come up a little bit, and then here comes a straight line. It goes inside that curve you just made, and that is the capital G. To do the lowercase g, it's just a circle with a hook. So the circle is going to go between the halfway and the bottom line, and then the hook is going to go below that bottom line. I didn't leave myself enough room, but I should make it work. So it's going to be a circle between the middle and the bottom line, and then the hook is going to come down the right hand side and curve back up underneath. So the letter G is pretty easy to write, but now let's do a little bit more magic and turn that capital G into a girl. To make the capital G into a girl, I'm actually going to start by turning the whole paper upside down. And this is so that this part of the book won't be in my way when I make it. So in the middle of our paper, we're going to make a capital G, which was our big curve that comes up and then a straight line into the middle. And there's our capital G. Now we're gonna turn our paper right side up, so now the G is upside down. And now we're gonna make this line in our middle continue all the way over to the end. And then we're going to bring this hook, or the top, <laughs> or this line here, up to meet right there. And now this part on the top is gonna to be the hair, this is going to be the face. So we're going to draw two eyes underneath the hair with some circles in the middle, her pupils, and then we'll give her a cute little triangle nose and a nice happy face. And then we're going to put her hair into pigtails. So we're going to put a little oval, which is like a squash circle, on either side of her head. And then our pigtails are going to be a curve out, straight line, and then curve back to there. Curve out, straight line, curve back to there. And then we'll give her some ears too. So it's going to be like a curve with a little line in the middle, just sort of some detail. And the other side is going to be a curve with a line there. And actually, this almost makes letter G too. If you bring it up and then over, it's a letter G on the side of her head. Add some lines for some hair details because hair is thin strings. And you have turned your letter G into a girl. So there you guys have it, the letter G. We know it can sound like either G or J, we know how to write it capital or uppercase and lowercase, and we even turn the capital G into a girl. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, keep practicing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody, bye!